This week, air attorneys representing ASU are expected to respond to a lawsuit that challenges the school's diversity, equity, and inclusion program. Now, the plaintiff in the case alleges the university forces employees to agree with ideas surrounding diversity, ideas that are inherently racist. 12 News journalist Joe Dana tells us why the legal move reflects a larger debate. DEI programs promote representation and participation of diverse groups. A counter movement is challenging those programs. The latest example, an ASU professor's lawsuit. The largest state university's employee training under a microscope. Longtime professor Owen Anderson argues in a lawsuit filed earlier this year, ASU's mandatory inclusive communities training teaches discriminatory concepts, places blame or judgment on the basis of race, ethnicity, or sex, and amounts to an unlawful use of taxpayer funds. The suit alleges the program teaches, quote, white people are inherently racist, consciously or unconsciously, among other claims. That's a reference to broader teachings about systemic racism in the United States. An ASU spokesperson calls the suit political and says it misleads the court and misrepresents both the content and requirements of this training. The battle, part of an uptick in legal challenges to DEI initiatives across the country, Last year, Arizona School Superintendent Tom Horn scrapped the department's diversity program altogether. To treat each other as individuals and not pay attention to race or sexual orientation. Marion Kelly is founder of Arizona's Diversity Leadership Alliance, a nonprofit that uses DEI-based tools to educate schools and businesses. Equity, diversity, and inclusion, belonging, welcoming, whatever you want to call it, it's all about inclusion. Kelly says opposition to such programs have taken different forms over the years. Do you see some of the concerns some people may have? I think diversity efforts vary amongst organizations, but I think the outcomes are really to bring about education, help people to change perspective. Whether ASU's program violates Arizona law could eventually be in a judge's hands. The ASU suit is based on a 2021 law signed by then-Governor Doug Ducey aimed at restricting taxpayer-funded inclusiveness training. Kelly hopes legal disputes don't prevent progress. I would implore that people find a way to have a conversation, a civil dialogue. The plaintiff in this case declined an interview. His attorney tells us in writing, ASU's claim that our case misleads the court is false, objectively baseless, and defamatory. Again, the defense in this case, the Board of Regents, is expected to provide a response to the lawsuit in court this week. We'll keep you updated. Jodana, 12 News.